Hi there, my name is Caitlin. I am from grassfedgirl.com and today we're gonna to be talking about my carnivore pregnancy and what I eat in a day. So what I eat in a day on carnivore when pregnant. So I'm gonna show you several meals and then maybe a few days of meals and what I eat on a typical day. Uh, it is very sometimes the same. I have been dealing with some cravings so I'll show you some of the treats that I might eat or um, the some dairy that I might eat because I've been having a hard time with some cravings um, but for the most part I keep it high fat and protein and it's been going really well I feel really good I don't have a lot of problems I've had a tiny bit of heartburn right here um, but for the most part I've been sleeping wonderful and just been feeling amazing so um, if you haven't seen my first trimester video, go back and watch that, and I'll be doing a second trimester video here soon. Um, before, right now, I'm 26 weeks today, 26 weeks today. Yay! So, um, yeah, everything's been going well, and I'll just show you some of the stuff that I typically eat. This, A lot of this is from Instagram, so if you don't follow me over on Instagram, uh, it's at Grassfed Girl. I show every day my stories, what I eat, and what I'm doing and what I'm up to. So um, I'm also, uh, so far with my pregnancy, I'm starting to do my blood sugar analysis for the midwife. So I'll be doing that uh, exciting stuff. Maybe I'll make that into another video. And um, if you don't have one of these, it's a Keto Mojo, you can get it down in the description box. And this is a really easy thing to use to figure out how you're doing with your blood sugar or your ketones. It takes both of those strips, so that's really convenient. Um, and yeah, I have to do that for my doctor and turn it in two weeks worth four times a day. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a day of a carnivore pregnancy, and then sometimes I'll eat a little treat, so I'll show you that too. And I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please subscribe to my channel and um, We'll be back at the end to show you, see what you think, and wrap it up. Good morning, guys. I'm going to make some lamb sausages. So excited. These look tasty. So I got my pan hot, and now I'm cooking them over here. Yum. Looks great. I got these at the farmer's market from a local company. Okay, now I'm making some poached eggs. And I got some salt and some vinegar in there. <laughs> I hope it works out. <laughs> when you make more than one, you can't really do the vortex. So I'll probably have three here. Okay, so now you want to take them out of the water, put them on, use a slotted spoon, and put them on a paper towel for a minute. Okay, here's the finished product. So I've got my eggs and my lamb sausage. Don't be intimidated by these poached eggs. It just takes a little practice, and you just cook them for three or four minutes in the water with the vinegar and the salt, and just be careful when you're putting them in and taking them out. So let's see how it goes. Ooh, perfect. That's going to be so yum. Dip that together. It's going to be tasty. Mmm. This is my breakfast. I got these sausages from Ladies of the Lamb. They're lamb sausages. And then I made some poached eggs. I had a couple duds back there, but whatever. I don't want to waste it. This one looks really good. So just remember, don't be intimidated by poached eggs. Just keep trying. And um, this is very tasty. I'm gonna dip it. Mmm. Making dinner, I'm excited. These are a little, I took them out last night of the freezer. So they're getting thawed. They're a little, they need a little more thawing, but they're pretty good. Some steaks away. Got my grill master here. <laughs>
Okay, so I put it in there. I'm just stirring it up. I think it will keep dissolving here in a minute. So I'll let you know how it tastes. This is what it looks like. They have several flavors that they sent me. Chicken chips. Just put them in the air fryer for a minute. They were already cooked off in that other chicken. So just took them off and put them in the air fryer for like seven. We're having some barbecue. The lake. This is filet. Trying to flip it without it falling off. I'm having some breakfast. This is four eggs. I have some local eggs and I have some goat cheese. This is two ounces of goat cheese and four eggs. These are from Whole Foods, but they're just a local farm. So always cook your eggs really low and slow. So I had these on seven and just, and I beat them before I put them in the bowl. So make sure and cook your eggs on low and then it won't, uh, they won't burn up and get all hard. And so anyway, two ounces of goat cheese, four eggs. That's my breakfast today. Simple meal idea, get you a brisket that's already seasoned and you can just put it right into the Instant Pot. So super easy carnivore meal just idea. Pour the um, seasoning in. Just add some water and then you just put the top on and you cook it for about three hours. Good morning! I'm having this meal about 10 30. These are some lamb sausages we cooked in the last night on the grill and then I just heated them up because we had too much to eat last night. This is a leftover chicken wing from some takeout I got earlier in the week. And then these are some over easy eggs that I cooked. Yum. I don't know if they're, that one's good, but. And I put some Redmond salt and I'm ready to eat. Here's my lunch. It is grass-fed burgers with some goat cheese melted on top. All I put in it was salt. So yum. Excited to eat chicken broth that I made the other day. It is yummy. So I'll put my link for my chicken broth video down below. Um. Costco, they're from Australia, and um, they actually work in the air fryer frozen, so I'm gonna cook them up in my air fryer. Here's my lamb chops. I cooked them about 10 minutes on each side in the air fryer on 350, and they are so good. I'm so excited to eat. Tonight we're having Tonight we're having a seafood dinner, so it's really important to get your seafood really dry so I like to put it on rags on top of paper towels because that gets you do not want it to be a really wet so we have wild gulf shrimp we have wild cod and then we have some wild coho salmon we're having fish we have salmon and shrimp and cod so excited so here is an example of a treat that I would get so every once in a while, I've just had trouble with cravings over the pregnancy and especially lately in the second trimester. So this is an example. This is the keto version of Halo Top. So it's got more fat and it tastes a little bit better than the other one. And this is just something it's sugar free, but, um, you know, it does have sugar alcohols or whatever. So yeah, it's not ideal, but it does help me get through these days until I can um, get back on super strict carnivore. So this is just kind of a treat I'm just showing you and you can look at this online or whatever, but it has uh, 630 calories in the whole thing and it has more fat than the regular Halo Top.
Hi guys, I wanted to make sure that you know that I also take this grass-fed organ complex from Paleo Valley. I've been taking it for a few weeks now and it's really great. It has several different organs in it and you know, liver is the true superfood. It has basically every single vitamin that we need and um, this is a great way, especially if you don't like the taste of liver. Since I've been pregnant, it's been hard for me to um, eat liver because of food aversions, but um, this has been really a lifesaver, so you can get it with the link in the profile, and this is a really good brand, and it doesn't have any other ingredients in it besides the liver and the gelatin and the heart and the kidney, so really clean, good product. Okay, guys, that was what I eat in a day on a carnivore pregnancy, maybe a couple days there. I'm really typical of what I eat anytime. Uh, I crave fat a lot and I crave salt and I crave meat. Um, and my first trimester in that video, you can watch it. I did have a meat aversion, a red meat aversion, but I ate a lot of seafood and chicken and then it did go away, thank goodness, about 12 weeks. And like I said, now I'm 26 weeks, so I'm eating a lot of ground beef, steak. Um, really need that red meat. I try to get a little bit of liver in there and um, I'm feeling amazing and lots of eggs and some goat cheese. Okay guys, I hope you liked that video all about what I eat in a day on a carnivore pregnancy. So um, if you're interested in getting started on the carnivore diet, I have an ebook that I wrote all about how to do the carnivore diet. It has two shopping lists, two meal plans has everything you could ever want to know about how to do a carnivore diet and me and my sister wrote it after we were on a carnivore diet for over a year so we have a lot of knowledge to share with you it has just been an amazing amazing thing for us and we love a carnivore diet so much so I hope that this helps you you can get it down in the description box it's called the carnivore diet the 30 day carnivore diet challenge it's at carnivore30.info this has been just a labor of love, and we know you will love it too. So you can get it down at carnivore30.info. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and tell a friend about my channel because I put a lot of work in these videos and I really hope that you get a lot out of them. And I always try to give you value and keep you in mind for the next topic that I'm going to cover. So let me know down in the description what helps you the most. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.